So today, I'm gonna make some shots. It's been a while since I made some shots. This is an all new liqueur that I've never had before. Uh, it's actually been out for a while, uh, but I've never had it. It is Tequila Rose. Uh, tequila Rose, it's a strawberry cream, and it says here, with a splash of tequila. Sounds to me like it's kind of your run-of-the-mill strawberry cream, and uh, they use the aura around tequila to add a little bit of extra. Now, like I said, I've never had it, so I'm going to jump right in, and I'm, I'm going to be making three shots with this particular liqueur. But first, I just want to try some the way it is. Uh, now, I have not chilled mine. And I do believe a lot of people just drink the shots chilled. And since I've never had it, we're going to just kind of give it a taste. See what it's like here. I don't know too much of a smell. It obviously looks like strawberry milk, which don't bother me any. Not bad. It's pleasant strawberry flavor. There's a very, very light touch of tequila. Not much. When you're drinking this uh, refrigerated as a shooter, I can't imagine you actually getting much uh, tequila flavor from it, but who knows. I think it'll mix just fine for what we're doing here. Uh, this is kind of a Something along the lines of a Bailey's, only it's a tequila and it's strawberry instead of Irish cream. But I think we're kind of on the same page in that regard. I'm going to make three shots, like I said. I'm going to start off with uh, one of your more common ones, I think. And move into a couple of it. Well, one, you just might find it repulsive, uh, but it looked interesting. So I'm going to try it anyway. The first one I'm going to make is called the chocolate covered strawberry because hey we have a strawberry flavored liqueur and i have creme de cacao that i can use in order to give it a nice chocolate flavor as well so of course we are going to take advantage of that uh, this particular liqueur is only 30 proof so i don't imagine any of these shots are really going to pound it too hard to you uh, regardless, we are going to start with one ounce of the Tequila Rose. One ounce. Oh, yeah. And uh, follow that up with the Creme de Cacao. It's just a chocolate-flavored liqueur. If you wanted to use um, Godiva chocolate liqueur or something like that, it would work as well. Maybe a half of an ounce of that should yield us about a two ounce shot when we're all said and done. Uh, even a chocolate vodka would do well in here. So I'm going to take some ice, throw it in here and give it a shake. Okay. Nice thing of ice. Shake till it's cold. Nice and cold in the shot glass is where it's going to go. Of course, they're all shooters. <laughs> of course it's going to go in a shot glass. Don't be stupid. Nice creamy texture. I suppose if you wanted to, you could rim that with a little bit of chocolate syrup or something like that. Maybe sprinkle a little chocolate syrup on the inside. You want to get fancy, uh, but this is a chocolate covered strawberry shot. Delicious, really is. Um, this is not something, and I'm sure you probably know by now if you're watching, this is not something that you know is going to be your classic run of the mill drinks. Uh, these are going to be sweet, indulgent drinks. And uh, this next one, though, 
maybe not. This next one is called the Beastly Beauty. The Beastly Beauty, and uh, it is going to be a layered shot. That's why I got my bar spoon right here. And we're just gonna start off by filling it two thirds of the way full. A one and a half ounce shot glass, two thirds of the way full of our tequila rose. That's the beauty. Now it's time for the beastliness. And I said this would be interesting, and I meant it, because we're breaking out some Jaeger. Now look, you know, I've been surprised before, so don't freak out and leave yet, because this might actually turn out decent. We're gonna run some Jaeger over the back of a bar spoon and use that to float on top of the tequila rose. Not a perfect float on my part, but uh, I've done worse, right? Yeah. So you get that black oil spill looking thing on top, and that is going to give you a beastly beauty. Well, yeah. Nothing to do now, but actually see how good it is. Hmm. Not bad, actually. It is a uh, interesting flavor. Obviously, you get some licorice, some bitterness up front from the Jägermeister. But it ends really sweet, so I'll take it. All right, so I'm gonna break out my old shaker tin so I can just keep rolling along here. And uh, hopefully this goes well. It's gonna be called the Red Hot Panties. I mean, most people like Red Hot Panties, right? You do, I do. Everybody likes Red Hot Panties. Uh, of course, the reasoning for this drink is not just the strawberry liqueur from it, but the uh, addition of, of cinnamon flavor whiskey, Fireball being most popular. I have this stuff here. I'm not buying Fireball until I get rid of this shit. So, in it goes. In it goes. And this is going to be a simple, equal parts recipe. I'm going to start with three quarters of an ounce of cinnamon whiskey. Going to go that in the shaker tin. Going to follow it up with three quarters of an ounce of tequila rose. That is also going to go into our shaker tin. It's going to get a nice shake with ice. Get things moving. Put some ice in there. Give it a good shake. Well, I didn't mention this earlier, but I got a second, so I'm mentioning it now. If you enjoy cocktail recipes and you want to see more, you can click down below, hit that subscribe button, and the bell icon. As I pour this in, I was going to remind you that it will notify you anytime I post new videos, like Red Hot Panties. So obviously this will be a cinnamony, strawberry type thing. Not too bad. Um, most of the cinnamon kind of gets covered up, but there is just that hint of cinnamon at the end. Should be a little more in here. I mean. This actually could have done two one and a half ounce shot glasses by the looks of it, but oh well. So that is how you make a couple shots 
with Tequila Rose. Tequila Rose. If this is interesting to you, if you like what I'm doing here with the Tequila Rose shots, and you want me to make some cocktails with Tequila Rose, let me know in the comments below. It's something I can do as a follow-up. Uh, after all, I got this whole bottle here. Let's kill this bottle. Give me some drink ideas. I'll put them to the test here later on down the road. But until next time, just remember that you can subscribe. I'm on a journey here for 100 cocktail recipes in the year 2020. And if there was ever a year we could use it, it's this one in 2020. So hit subscribe down below that bell icon. That way you will take part in the rest of this year's drinks. Until next time, I want to thank you for watching this. And remember, if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers.